Hello, hello, and we are starting Season 4 of The Infected. I am so excited to be back. I apologize for not uh, having any videos out in a while, but the old goat is getting old and his health wasn't good. We had so many doctor's appointments and hospital visits, and I just spent all my time with him and didn't get anything else done. Uh, he is doing better. So, and I've got my afternoons basically free now. So, I am looking forward to this. There's been so much changes in this game. I can't wait to see what it's all about. Uh, first thing I want to do, I want to look at the map. And I am exactly where I want to be. Wonderful. All right. Let's get our basics done. I need a bunch of sticks and stones. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give gimme give all that goodness. A lot of stones. Wow. I need five stones. I need one more, but I need a lot more sticks. I've kind of kept up with the updates a little bit, or I have tried to. Uh, so I, I basically know what uh, he's added to the games. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, let's get our uh, hatchet made. You need one small stone. To get into this, what I did, uh, you go to your inventory, which I think is I, I'm not sure. I, I always change mine to R, so my, um, so my hands will reach wide, right. But you go up to this little hammer and anvil, that's your crafting. I'm going to hit uh, Alt. I know you can shift, but well, I guess I could. So I'm gonna hit Shift, one stone, shift, one stick, let's craft our axe, and then I need to shift these over, and I need three stone blades, let's get one more, alright, and, okay, that's all I can do right now, let's chop, chop some trees, get that done. I have been working on my sound for two weeks, trying to get the sound right. Uh, if it's not, please let me know and I'll work on it some more. I mean, every time there's a Windows update or anything like that, my uh, sounds seem to go haywire. And it had been so long since I had uh, been able to use it that uh, really messed everything up. All right, let's go back up to our hammer and anvil. So I need one of the uh, stone blades. I need, so now I'm going to go Alt-Shift so I can get one stick and then I'm going to need some of the plant fiber which I got from cutting down the tree. So I got, that's two plant fiber. Craft, we got a stone pickaxe. Now, I need another, come on, I need stone blade. I need five plant fiber. One, two, three, four, five, and I think it's three sticks. One, two, three, and there's one stone spear. Let's do it again. 
No, I don't want to drop it. Let's do shift. And then I want to do... I want to shift these three over. And then I want back to alt again. Alt and right click. One, two, three, four, five plant fiber. There's my other stone spear. So now, my little holding area up here, my tool belt, I've got an axe, a pickaxe, and two spears. And that will do us just great. All right. Now, I need one. I'm just going to pick up some of this stuff before it disappears, because I'm going to need a lot of stones. I need ten stones, if I remember right, for my fireplace. How many have I got? Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, seven, eight, nine. That'll take care of my fireplace. Let's get over here to my water's edge. And where is it? There it is. I'm turned around here. Oh, looky here. Right click. Harvest. And that when you harvest, you get a seed. Plus, you get food. There's your vegetables. Okay. Over here. I'm going to go ahead and hit all my your uh, inventory key. Go up here to the stack of books. And I want to go to placeables. And I want the saw bench. I'm going to put down three. You can place them any way you want to. I just like doing it this way. E to place. Two, and one more. Doesn't have to be perfect. Tab to get out of it. Alright, now I'm going to need some logs for that. So let's run over here and pick up these logs I've already chopped. Dump them in there. Now all this is going to be temporary until I get my house built, so... I'm not worried about everything being straight or perfect or anything like that. These take four logs. Go over and get these other three. There they are. I got room to pick up a couple more stones. I do. Might regret it, but I won't pick them up anyway. I'm going to need them. Okay. Now I need to chop down some more trees. I'm going to need quite a few trees. Let's get to chopping again. The grind is real in this game. Come on. Chop it down. Uh, run over here. Pick up the corn. Since I don't have any kind of farming going right now. Ooh. Well, what can I get rid of? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my fiber right now. That should... Yeah. Cause I'll be picking it, picking up more. That. Okay. I know I'm overweight. But 
but only for a couple minutes. And let's see, let's get rid of that fiber again. All you do is just drag it out of your backpack and confirm you want to get rid of it. Okay. E to pick them up. Pick up your logs. And I know I'm 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 overburdened. But that will be changing here in just a moment. Alright, we got that built. So now let's chop I'm gonna chop this tree down. And let's pick these up. I'm going to go to R, or your menu, go back over to the little books. This time I'm going to, I want to go down to others under the foundations, under con construction, under your foundations, to others. I need this shelter. <coughs> and I'm going to put it right there. Tab to get out of it. Then I am going to go back up again. Click on the books. This time I'm going to placeables. And I am going to food. And the campfire. Tab to get back out of it. And I'm going to hit E to add the materials. And I am going to add logs into that. And I am going. I need one more log for that, and then I am going to go over here, and I'm going to drop those two logs. And now I need going back up again. I want to go to placeables, storage, and I want three storage containers. One, two, three, tab out of it again, and back over here, I'm going to go back up the same way, placeables, I want storage again, and I want a stick stand, E to plop it down, tab to get out of it, then R, or whatever, placeables, storage and this time I want a firewood stand E to place it tab to get out of it all right so I'm going to collect some logs put them over here on my saw benches How many sticks do I have? One. Okay. What I am going to do is... No, I'm not, I'm not doing it that way. Sorry about that. Let's pick up some more logs. I forgot I already had my two logs over there I needed. Okay. I'm going over these two logs that I laid down over here. I'm going to harvest. Yeah, I need eight of the firewood in my campfire, and I also need sticks to build this. So, let's grab that one, dump it in there. So now I need four more pieces of firewood. All you do is just right click on a log and harvest it. You get five sticks and four pieces of firewood. You can go on and break the firewood down into sticks. 
But I don't want to do that because I need the firewood. One, two, three, four. And there we go on that. And I need one more stick and I'll have that done. But I also need to keep my planks coming. There's my stick. Okay. There we go. And to in put sticks or firewood or planks or anything in a holder, you just keep tapping E until they all leave your inventory and go into the holder. To take them out, all you do is right click. Take them out one at a time. Uh, okay, I need some more planks. Those going. Let's get a few trees this time. And these bigger trees give you more logs. It's slow, but we'll have better tools later where these will chop down a lot faster. All right. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my campfire, click on the backpack to get into this part of my storage, and I am going to grab the bark chips drag them over to the center of the campfire when it turns green, dump them in there, and that will give me uh, wood to burn. Plus it gets it out of my inventory. So let's do a little rearranging in here so I can get some planks in. Oh, I hear a piggy. Okay, now I ought to be able to uh, grab some planks. Where you at, Piggy? Right clicking, clicking to pick them up. E to put them in there. Eight planks for each box. Right click. There we go. Okay, I need four more. One, two, three, four. All right, there's that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this one will be for uh, plant fiber and animal pelts, things like that. This one will be for stones. I always keep one for stones because I am going to have to build a furnace and uh, so I need, you know, a lot of stones. Now, no! Pick that back up. Come on. Biddy, what are you doing? No! Well, shift them over then. I don't care how you do it. Now I'm going to keep my food and seeds in this one. That way it keeps it kind of organized and Gives me just a little room to work with. All right, now where is that piggy? If I can find him, that'll give us a good meal. 
I have uh, turned up the amount of meat I get per animal there you are uh, just for the simple reason I don't think they quite have enough meat coming off of some of these alright you just use your little white cursor dot on your screen and center it and that's what works. Uh, e to harvest. Now we have, I hear another one, but I don't need it right now. I am going to pick up some more stones. The last thing I need to build today, well, I need to build a lot of things, but to get us going, go back into here. I need to go in up I'm still in construction foundations I just want a foundation I'm gonna leave it just like it is okay so I need some more wood I want all this done before it gets dark four logs and I know I've got another logs over here. Need a few more planks. Get those going. Yeah, I've got the logs in there. I just need planks. I think I need six planks. Yeah, I'll, I'll need six planks. But I might as well use these up because I am going to need a lot of planks. And this last log I'm going to turn into sticks and firewood. Alright. Uh, I better empty my inventory. That first one I'm going to put the animal things I'm going to move you over there let's move you and then I'll use my scroll wheel turn it on its side that way it doesn't take up quite as much room now I move the fat over here okay let's get these two rocks in there and now I'll pick up some planks I need six planks one two three four five six okay now what I want to do back up now I want to go to placeables oh, why my uh, mouse is jumping around uh, furniture then I want to go to a bed E to place it down tab to get out of it and I need six planks for that one one two three four five six and it's starting to get dark and there's my bed so now I can sleep the night away looks like I need some water okay top bar is your health uh, second bar is your stamina third bar is your liquid next bar is your food total then it's broken down to protein carbohydrates fat and vitamins and those are all 
uh, basically taken care of by vegetables and a little bit of your protein. Protein is meat. And then you also, bottom line, I have sun resistance turned off because I don't like sun resistance. Uh, but uh, the bottom line is my energy and that when it gets so low, you have trouble moving around. I, you sleep to build up your energy. Okay. Just say, just a little bit more info. Let's harvest these. Let's go ahead and pick up that firewood, those sticks, because I will need them. I'm just tapping E to get everything, get them all out of my inventory. To get into your inventory, all you'd have to do is just hit whatever button you're using, and then to get out of it, hit the button again. You don't have to hit escape or anything like that, you can just hit the button again. All right, I am going to drink my water. I've only got 12 left. So I am going to right click and empty the water out of it to zero, okay? Then I am going to go over here to the pond. Hit your menu button. Then left click, hold down your left click on your mouse, drag your thermos, over to the grain where it says add water, then release. Now I have 60 water in there. I will be getting a bigger flask uh, to uh, that will hold more water. You can't just drink out of the pond. Uh, that storm is loud. Okay, left click drag your flask up to the bucket up there and when when it turns green release it that way it adds the dirty water into that now you can put up to 200 uh, units of water in there so now I am going to do the same thing and I'm going to drag my meat over right onto these little round circles around the edge of the stones four places to add your meat okay back to the backpack grab your lighter drag it over to where the green where you put in your bur burning material your wood or whatever release it and that sets it turns it on and it's got these little circles that go around and when it's complete you can't miss it It will make a complete circle all the way around, but it's showing everything is cooking. I mean, even your water. You cannot drink water out of the pond. You have to boil it first. Okay. Now it says clean water. I'll go back and drag. Well, drag my flask back over here. Release it. Now I've got 60 units of the clean water and no water over here. Now my meat is done, so I'm just going to drag it over. And there are raccoons in the game and they will steal your food. Okay, now I'm going to take my flask and I'm going to drag it over the fire just to save the wood. Put out fire, yes, it only takes one unit of water. And that saved my wood for in the morning or whenever I need it next. And then I am going to go up here onto my bed.
and it is getting dark up to my bed space to jump and then I'm gonna hit E to sleep if you right click uh, this can be saved as a spawn location you don't have to do that you know playing by yourself but if you have multiple beds you need to that way it knows which bed to spawn you onto if you die uh, I'm not going to do that right now <coughs> because there isn't anything in the game that's going to kill me. I've got the Vambies turned off temporarily until I can get everything built up and get some kind of protection and all that stuff. Uh, the animals, I have their damage turned down, so they're not going to hurt me. Everything will be set up to normal whenever, uh, like I say, once I get built up. Uh, what else? What else did I do? Like I said, I've got sun resistance turned off. Uh, I've got my food and drink turned down to slow, so I don't have to eat and drink quite as much. And... I think that's about right. But the reason I picked this spot here... So I love this cave. To me, this is the best cave in the game. I, I really do like it. I don't care for the way the road is on it, but I can overlook that. Okay. Looks like day... Let's go ahead and sleep. It shows the time passing up here. Whenever you get ready to wake up, you just left-click wake up. I'm going to sleep to about 6, between 6 and 7, and now we are in day 2. I hope everybody enjoyed my little video. We will continue from day 2 the next time. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, I'm so terribly sorry. If you've noticed any kind of problems with my audio or video or anything, please let me know in the comments below. Leave me a comment just to say hi. I'm so happy to be back and I want to hear from everybody. But everybody have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, I'm so happy to be back.